Why motors fail? It has been estimated that electric motors account for about 65% of the electricity consumed in industrial applications. That reflects the importance of motors and the importance of maintenance. And to keep your motors running efficiently, you need to know the main reasons why motors fail. 51% fail through bearings. Motors don't fail just because of age or operating hours. 51% of failures are due to issues related to motor bearings. Reasons why 51% of motors fail through bearings. 1. Insufficient lubrication. Lubrication is very important for any moving part, and sure it's important too, for motors bearings. Regreasable bearings need regular greasing and monitoring. Don't fit and forget. So you have to regrease the bearing with the exact required quantity, each exact operating hours or according to a greasing schedule, as mentioned in the motor manual. Refer to the Manufacturer Operation and Maintenance Manual for specific relubrication intervals for your motor. Look for this plate on your motor, it gives you the detail you need to regrease your motor bearings. Like the motor bearings, grease type, and the running hours. Do I have to regrease sealed for life bearings? No, these bearings are permanently greased, sealed for life and cannot be regreased. Another reason why 51% of motors fail through bearings is excessive greasing. Grease is important for moving part, but over greasing could be a main reason for bearing failure. Yes this can overheat bearings and lead to failure. Ensure grease relief valves are open during the regreasing process to allow excess grease to purge from the bearing housing. A bearing lip seal will typically fail at 500 psi, yet grease guns can produce up to 1500 psi. Add each shot of grease slowly, to avoid pressure buildup. What is the best way to control overgreasing? 1. Always make sure relief valves are cleaned out of any dirt or hardened grease. 2. Remove grease outlet plug or open outlet valve where fitted. 3. Slowly pump grease into the bearings every few seconds. Avoid quick lever actions as pressure will build and damage seals. 4. Discontinue greasing if any abnormal back pressure is felt. Another reason is wrong lubricant check that you are using the right grade or type of grease refer to the lubricants section of your motor operations manual when regreasing use only special ball bearing grease with the following properties good quality grease with lithium complex soap and with mineral or pao oil Base oil viscosity 100 to 160 CST, at 40 degrees Celsius. Consistency NLG I grade 1.5 to grade 3. Temperature range minus 30 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees C. Do not mix different types of grease. Incompatible lubricants may cause bearing damage. Are there any specific greases I need to use in specific applications? Yes, there are specific greases you need to use for say high temperature or hygienic applications, refer to the lubricants section of your motor operation manual. Reason number 4 is Misalignment It's essential that the motor and load be correctly aligned, under actual operating temperatures and conditions. Machines that are correctly aligned at room temperature may become badly misaligned, due to deformation or different thermal growth associated with temperature change. The alignment must be checked, and corrected, if necessary, after the motor and driven machine have reached their maximum temperature under load. Soft foot is one of the main causes of misalignment. 
The two types of soft foot are angular soft foot, parallel soft foot. Common causes of soft foot Bent or deformed shim, Bolt hole with a burr, Bent motor foot, Deformed machine base. When torquing the holding bolts of your motor, use a cross torque pattern to ensure an even secure fit. How often should I check the alignment of a motor? A motor should be checked approximately every 2000 hours. Both operating and non-operating alignment should be checked. Reason number 5 is, shaft overload. Excessive loading through the shaft of your motor may cause failure. Belt-driven pulleys often put high load directly onto the shaft bearing. For motors in frame sizes 160 and above, on belt-driven applications, fit roller bearings. To deal with the expected shaft overload. How do I tell if an existing motor is suffering from shaft overload? Rapid wear of belts is a simple visual sign of an overloaded shaft. Check how often your belts are bottoming out, if it is happening a lot, shaft overload could be the cause. Reason number 6 is, vibration. Excessive vibration can also lead to premature bearing failure. Check motor mounting bolts are secure as vibration may cause them to become loose during operation. Motor vibration causes can be, electromagnetic, mechanical imbalance, rubbing parts, bearing failure, resonance. Measure vibration on all three planes, vertical, horizontal, axial. Vibration causes are often in one of two areas, shaft vibration. Housing vibration. How do I tell if the vibration on my motor is normal? Refer to the vibration severity tolerances, set out by ISO 10816 for guidance. Reason number 7 is, overheating. Make sure your motor is designed to cope with the heat it is subjected to. Bearings have different clearances to allow for thermal expansion in operation. Keep an eye on your bearing temperature, and ensure you use the correct grease for high temperature applications. For every 15 degrees Celsius cooler you typically, double the regreasing interval and the bearing life. Keeping the motor operating environment as cool as possible, will greatly increase motor life. How do I tell if the motor bearings are overheating? Use a temperature probe or thermal imaging camera to test bearing temperature. Make sure the readings are within the tolerances of the installed bearing. Still reasons, why the other 49% of motors fail through, will be discussed in the coming video. Please don't forget to like the video. And to support us, Please share.